guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a very short a very short little mini review of a mini eyeshadow palette. I picked this palette up at Sephora on sale for, for $13.50. I was super excited they actually had it in stock. And this is actually my very first product from Natasha Denona. And today we're going to be talking about the Natasha Denona Mini Lila palette. This is originally $25. I figured I'd sit down and do a quick look with this to see how the shadows perform. I have used Natasha Denona once. My mom has their bigger five pan palettes um, that are 50 bucks. She has one of those. But I wanted to see how this performs and check out these gorgeous shades. So let's go ahead and start applying this to the eyes. I think the color selection in here is beautiful. I feel like it, it has what I need to make a very specific look. Um, I could also just use two of them for a very quick everyday look, so let's do this. Well, obviously I'm going to start with this brown shade first. A little bit dusty, it is in Flint. That's the shade. So again, I just want this to be a very quick, short, little mini review of this. Um, wow! <laughs> I went choo choo and it blended. Okay, that literally would take two seconds in the morning. You just tap it in and go swish, swish, and it's done. Wow, it is pigmented, so it goes on in one swipe, but it is blending out like <laughs> with no effort whatsoever. Holy cow, I may end up liking this a lot more than I was expecting. Okay, so I obviously like the brown. So for an everyday look, I would just put that in the crease and then take this shade right here and put it on my lid and I'd be good to go. That's quick and easy. And for 25, which is what this normally is, I don't think that's too bad. These are really, really tiny pans. Let me show you next to my Tarte Unleashed palette. Now this is a big palette, but still, look at the pan sizes. Like, Definitely a difference. Um, so I feel like I would run out of this shade if I used it every single day. I don't know how quickly, but I do. I, I feel like I really would run out of that shade. Blended so well, so well. Since I am wanting to use as much of this as I can, let's experiment a little. Which shade, which shade? I'm gonna go in with this middle shade and again, pretty powdery. Make sure you tap off the excess. Um, this one is in Raisin. So let's see how this one does. Hmm. I think that blended pretty well too. I think that if this is the kind of color you want to wear for everyday basis, I think this palette could be worth it if you're, you're wearing this all the time. I feel like I'm going to wear these colors. And the awesome thing about the five pan is it's a quick, you don't have to look at it and think, hmm, what am I going to do? You just pick it up and you know what you're going to do with it. Which um, when you're in a hurry is nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and see how this shimmer works because I am, hold on. So, um, I always use my finger with shimmers, so I'm not even gonna go in with a brush, but let me get that on my finger and, wow. That is pretty. Like that. I kind of want to put a little bit more. I think I want to use this shade. Let me get this smaller detailed brush and go into that one is Poison Berry. And this one that I used is Linen. So Poison Berry. This one doesn't feel as dusty. This color, oh, where do I want to place this? This look as it is, I think is a very good everyday work look. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some of this purple. Oh, I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up. 
we're gonna we're gonna wow go for it and I'm gonna put it right oh my gosh that's so pigmented okay we're we're going for it And then I'm going to put just a touch of the brown on this to blend out the edge. Okay, I don't feel like the poisonberry shade was as easy to blend as the other ones. It's a little patchy on this side. And I'm having a hard time getting that smooth. So I'm not as impressed with that particular shade. But I really, really like that brown and this shimmer. Only thing about this is there's not a brow bone highlight or in the corner highlight, but I can always use my face highlight for that. I'm gonna take Poisonberry on the lower lash line, get a little bit more color. Again, I keep, there's lots of powder coming off of the brush, so be aware of that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown to blend out this part man it's hard to get just a little bit it uh it definitely packs a punch Whew. okay I'm gonna put on some liner and mascara real quick and then I'll be right back to give you my thoughts on this tiny little itty bitty palette all right so I think this was a very good purchase for $13.50 and honestly after using it I think I would pay $25 as well it's just can get it's hard because there's so many good eyeshadows now that don't cost a ton of money now I don't like a whole lot of eyeshadows from the drugstore but I do enjoy ColourPop shadows most of them um, and even like a Tarte palette that this was I think $40 you get so much more it really just depends on preference but again if this was the only thing I used and I use this every day I think $25 is totally fine. They also have, they've got several of these minis. There's one that's all like browns, neutrals. So if you're wanting like an everyday kind of palette, um, that one might be one to check out. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these um, for you. I didn't use this one right there. And let me swatch this last one. Oh, it's really soft when you touch it. So I can see why that one was patchy for me now. It's really soft when you touch it, but um, it has it has some patchiness to it. So I like the top three shades, and I haven't tried this one on my face, so I don't know. But it is very pretty. Oh, I think four out of five. Of these are really good. I think that this shade. I think it's a really difficult shade to to do because I think that's the color in the Zodiac palette that I have issues with. Oh, it's just like a rock in this though. Okay. Um, yeah, very similar color. I mean, it's a little bit more red than pink. It's got more like, oh, but look at the patchiness. I feel like this shade is just a difficult one to, to make. I think it's good. I don't think it's the most amazing thing I've ever tried. But I will say that brown took two seconds to do blend out, so that's amazing. Really, really would love to try one of the bigger palettes, but I just, again, the price on the shadows, I, ugh, it's so expensive. I just can't, I haven't been able to pull the trigger yet. So if you know of a larger Natasha Denona palette that is like absolutely worth it, let me know and I will think about it. <laughs> but for now, this is the one I'm gonna stick with and I do enjoy it. All right guys, that wraps up this review. I hope it was helpful for you. I know that it is still currently on sale for $13.50 while I'm filming this. It's been out of stock on their website, but I found one in store. If you go to, yeah, $12.50, not $13.50. If you go to the site um, and you click on it and find in a store, it'll tell you where it has it in stock. And they still have some at one close to me. So not the same one, because I we bought them all. <laughs> but anyways. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you want to see future videos, hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye. Oh, I didn't realize that I didn't stop it. <sighs> I 
am excited. Pick this palette up. Okay. You're so cute. I got it on self. Look at I am melting under these lights. 